The Indonesian government is looking at the weakening of labor-intensive industrial sectors such as textiles and footwear due to the global economic slowdown. A number of incentives are currently being discussed to be given to labor-intensive industrial sectors. And despite this, Indonesia's finance minister Sri Mulyani argued that in the midst of rising layoffs, the realization of tax revenue from employee income tax is still growing relatively high, reaching 21% of an increase from the month of September, which was 17.4%. And according to the minister, the rise in employee income tax revenues signals there is still an adequate number of employees in Indonesia and that they are receiving wages and that the company is paying their taxes. However, Minister Sri Mulyani admitted that the global economic slowdown is affecting demand for Indonesia's prime export goods, such as textiles and footwear. Right now, the Indonesian government are still making studies and studies on the textile and footwear industry to come up with incentives that will be given out to corporations or entrepreneurs that suffer slowdowns in performance that will result in layoffs. Cukup baik untuk TPT memang terlihat mulai ada tekanan terhadap beberapa korporasi. Nah ini yang kemudian kita akan uh, kemudian uh, waspadai dengan langkah-langkah apa yang harus disiapkan. Kita lihat instrumen mana yang bisa membantu untuk siapa yang harus dibantu. Apakah korporasinya, apakah buruhnya. Kalau buruhnya pakai instrumen apa? Instrumennya di tempatnya Kemenaker, apakah instrumennya di BPJS Tenaga Kerja, Kalau, kalau dalam korporasinya kita sudah pernah melakukan hal yang sama, katakanlah seperti menggunakan PPH 25 yang mungkin ditunda atau diperkecil. Hal-hal itu nanti yang akan kita deploy lagi. Jadi kita akan melihat berdasarkan siapa yang mau ditargetkan, korporasinya atau dari sisi.